And now to the legal questions Michael Cohen's testimony may raise for the president. Solomon Weisenberg was deputy independent counsel during the Whitewater investigation of the early 1990s, in which he personally questioned President Bill Clinton. Mr. Weisenberg, thank you very much for joining us again. Did you hear anything in today? Thank you. Did you hear anything in today's testimony that you think places President Trump in any or further legal jeopardy? I didn't hear anything in the testimony today that puts him in any further legal jeopardy. His jeopardy is what it is. There was, to me, nothing new about this testimony. It was a circus, frankly, uh, and uh, it was a circus to put it on. And most of the questioning by Republicans uh, had a circus atmosphere. But there's really nothing new. But Congressman Schiff did point out something that I think is important. Uh, if you've been following the case uh, and all, the, all of the Mueller investigation and all the indictments that have come out, um, presumably uh, only a relatively small group of people does that, right? But now by putting it on television and having it on all, all the cable networks all day long, there are some people who might have learned things that they didn't know before because they didn't spend all day looking at indictments and criminal informations. But there's, there's really absolutely nothing new of any substance that came out today. So uh, whether it was uh, Michael Cohen talking about the president directing him to make hush money payments, his providing a copy of the check the president gave him to reimburse him for hush money, whether it was the comments that he made about um, uh, telling a bank the president was worth more than he was, you're saying all of that doesn't really add up to anything legally? Well, no. No, I'm not. I'm saying it doesn't add up to anything further. Uh, take away the last thing you mentioned about the banks and just focus on the hush money payment to the women. That's all contained in Michael Cohen's plea papers in the Southern District of New York. I can guarantee you there's nothing he said today that hasn't been said to the prosecutors in New York. And, and that's a very strong case there against Cohen and potentially has, has some real danger for the president. But there's nothing new from the testimony today. Uh, that's, that's my point. Uh, I don't at all say that there's nothing of significance. It's just no, no, there's no news. And in fact, he did refer on several occasions today, Michael Cohen did, to those investigations underway uh, in the Southern District of New York. Do you have a sense of, of what the Southern District has, what it's pursuing? Well, we know from the, the Cohen papers that they've got a credible case having to do with violations of the campaign finance law. The problem for people who are interested in indicting the president is, number one, uh, we're not going to see a sitting president indicted in all likelihood. And number two, there is a different standard. Every defendant is different. There's a different standard for the person whose campaign it is than there is for somebody who works on his campaign. And there's a high level of intent required if you're going to convict somebody for that. So there's a difference between Donald Trump and, and Michael Cohen. Having said that, the Southern District of New York doesn't, doesn't mess around. I mean, they've got a very strong case there. Um, I just think it might be ultimately more relevant to impeachment than to any prosecution of President Trump. Impeachment, of course, something that the Congress would undertake uh, were, it, were it to take place. Solomon Weisenberg, we thank you very much. No problem.